here, but best artists of our time, outside of Tupac and Biggie, we don't put them in there, definitely Joe Button when we're talking lyrically. Now, if we're talking Joe Button's the person, I want to make this very, very clear. Joe Button's the person. I don't fuck with Joe Button's the person. He's a, he's a woman. I don't fuck with Joe Button's the person. I, I want to shoot the fade with Joe Button's the, the, the person. That's what I'm saying. So I'm some Buffalo. I don't let this show go, bro. Yes, I'm from Buffalo. I don't let this show. But anyways. DJ Ben 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 Dana. In Houston, we got action. Listen, there's a reason, right? There was a reason. Listen, let me just say this up front, because I know a lot of people are going to be like, Ben Dana Black, you're a West Coast hater. Da, 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 da. Not a West Coast hater. I just don't like WAV 100, right? But I'm going to say this, right? So when Kendrick Lamar dropped this little diss, you know what I'm saying? This little friendly diss about uh, Drake and Future and stuff like that. The reason why me on this channel, I didn't really go too crazy with it because, and again, Kendrick Lamar, as far as like lyrical artists, as far as like best artists like that, he's probably... I'm going to give him probably top five of our time. Top five of our time, lyrical like that. Top five of like my top five, absolutely not. You know why? Because of situations like this, right? DJ Bandana Black and Doris Records. Yeah, man. Bandana Black, you know, he always played local music, you know, for Buffalo, man. we That was the only DJ we really had, you know what I'm saying? And um, he always showed love, man. He always been a fan. You know, since day one, I knew him before. I, I knew him before he was even bandana black. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like when he when he became, you know, on the radio, uh, a radio DJ. Man, he just always showed love, man. So you know, definitely shout out to bandana black. Yeah, what Eve will you bandana black DJ band band bandana? If you gonna diss somebody, bro. If you gonna diss, do you see you see what's playing in the background right there? If, if you're going to diss somebody, you got to go all the way. He be doing the friendly shit, and then when people respond back, he want to go with the diabolical, follow, follow to Black Lives Matter shit, bro. Black Lives Matter. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But good kid, bad city. Shouts out to him. Listen, Drake fucked up. Listen, this is the reason why uh, Drake didn't respond back to that whole um, that whole Kendrick Lamar situation. I know a lot of people was probably thinking like, well, Kendrick was one of the big artists out with the top three. It's Kendrick, it's Drake, and it's J. Cole. That's what it would look like publicly, right? But to Drake... Drake's not thinking that. Drake's not thinking that it's it's Kendrick, J. Cole, and him. That's not what Drake is thinking. Because Drake got other people to respond to also, too. And that's the reason why, allegedly, I gotta say allegedly, because that is home team, too. I just gotta say at the end of the day, if we picking up if we picking somebody in the fight, I gotta pick Drake because technically Toronto, Buffalo is right. It's all the same thing. We going with Drake. But anyways, um he kind of messed up because when what well, Kendrick didn't realize what he did, and I think Kendrick did realize that he did this, um, only because these guys know. These guys know what's going on in the in, in industry. I think what Kendrick did was Kendrick know that he can't he can't mess with Drake. Kendrick know he can't mess with J. Cole. That's no offense or like that. He can't he can't do it because I mean he he, he just can't. Um and Drake's not really worried about J. Cole or Kendrick because like I said, Kendrick with the diabolical fire you know what I'm saying Black Lives Matter shit, and then J. Cole is only but so much um why are you worried about money? I'm saying the fruits and the herbs, and I mean, and I get all of that that you can get, you can, you can put on somebody who really don't give a fuck at the end of the day. Um, but this is bad for Drake because to the public, they're like, well, why hasn't Drake responded back to Kendrick? Why hasn't uh, Drake responded back to a couple other people that sent shots to him? You know why? Because there's a couple shots out there <laughs> that Drake didn't respond back to <laughs> that just responded to him, and he's gonna have to respond now because the spotlight is on him because of Kendrick. I think Kendrick honestly did that on some sucker shit to where. He threw the shot, knowing that Drake couldn't really fully respond back to him because then other people was going to take shots at Drake. And when you're dealing with an artist like Kendrick, you got to give that your full attention, which you can't with. Drake shouldn't give it his full attention because that's not really something that he should just... And that's nothing to take away from Kendrick. I understand Kendrick is a big artist too, but it's just nothing about, like... It's just not believable to me, bro. It's just not believable to me. But anyways, um, Pusha T took it upon himself. Um, there's two artists, like I said, that Drake don't play around when it comes to this whole beef thing. One would be a guy that it's crazy. I just did a video about him too, which is Joe Buttons. Joe Buttons the artist. Let me just let me make that clear. Joe Buttons the artist is probably the top art. He's top artist of our time. I ain't gonna hold him as far as I, favorite artist ever is Dipset for me. Dipset and Fantasia, but best artist of our time outside of Tupac and Biggie, we don't put them in there. Definitely Joe Button when we talking lyrically. Now, if we're talking Joe Button's the person, I want to make this very, very clear. Joe Button's the person. I don't fuck with Joe Button's the person. He's a, he's a mook at the end of the day. I don't fuck with Joe Button's the person. I, I want to shoot the fade with Joe Button's the, the, the person. That's what I'm saying. So some Buffalo shit. I don't let shit go, bro. Yes, I'm from Buffalo. I don't let shit go. But anyways, um, <laughs> Joe Button, the person, and Pusha T was the other person that... Y'all do realize that um, if Drake was dark-skinned, his career would be over because he'd be a deadbeat, right? Like, if Drake was dark-skinned, he'd be a deadbeat. His career would be, career would be over. Um, 
thanks to Pusha T, because y'all don't remember when Pusha T did the story of Adion, when he actually told us that Drake was a father, he was hiding a child, remember in the middle of Drake, he was like, you are hiding a child. And we all thought it was a bar, like, he said that sweet, like, hold on, rewind that back. This nigga just said, you're hiding a child, like a kid, like an actual, like mini me, like, this nigga got a kid that he hiding from the world. And then he tried to say how he was going to announce the, the, his kid to the world with Adidas press run, or like, he really, like, did, did Drake dirty. And the whole reason why that, <clears throat> I think, situation didn't really go too crazy or go out of hand is because Jay Prince and Mob Ties. Um, I think Kanye West was a little, little fearful that <laughs> I, I ain't even gonna do this. I think Kanye West was a little bit fearful of Jay Prince and those guys, and I think that Pusha T respects Kanye West, so he kind of left it alone. But y'all do realize that Pusha T has no ties to Kanye West right now. Y'all do realize that Joe Button is actually on the same platform as far as level, as far as clout wise, with Drake right now. So even though he didn't have to respond back then. Joe Button killed him in this song, by the way. Joe Button killed him in every diss that he uh, put to him. Um, but now he has to respond if Joe Button says something. Now people are going to go back and listen to this joint like, hold on, we didn't even know Joe Button did this. Joe Button killed Drake on his joint, bro. Joe Button killed Drake on his joint. Uh, Pusha T killed him on the uh, story of Adion. Shit, Joe Button killed him on the weight joint. He slow barred him. Dev. Said, you can't bell bib, bell, bell bib the whole way out of this one. Um, but anyways, uh, Pusha T has no ties to Kanye West anymore, so he's free to say what he wants. And that's exactly what he did. So a fan, a fan put, shout out to at yo Q. Um, he put, I just wanted to point out that after all these years of mob talk from Drake, nobody ever laid a finger on Pusha T. And then Pusha T responds, not a pinky nail. That's crazy because I think when he was signed to Kanye West, he probably wouldn't have joked around stuff like that. But with the whole rise, and this is the one thing that I give the way, like I'm, I'm not a hater, right? This is the one thing that I will give the whack 100. I don't mean this in a disrespectful manner, but. This is the one thing that I will give the WAP 100. Like, our perception of what Jay Prince and this whole, like, mob ties things, like, was and is. There's no disrespect. I'm just saying, our whole perception of the thing, I think, was it may have been a little bit cloudy. It may have been a little bit jaded. And I think that WAP 100, I, I can't believe I'm admitting this. I'm saying WAP 100 did something right. I was having a bad day today. Before I seen it, I was honestly having a bad I wasn't going to do no videos. And I seen Pusha T said this, like, oh, yeah, real hip hop is back. But, uh, anyways, I think that WAC 100 was right when it comes to the Jay Prince situation. Because at the end of the day, I put it like this, right? If me and me and a person that I had issues with, right? Me and a person I had issues with, we decide that we have issues when we see each other. And there's going to be like physical confrontation. If me and this person said we're going to have physical confrontation, and then I happen to be walking down the store, and then like this 80-year-old man with a cane go on and say, hey, yo, young blood, did you know that the, the rocks fly west for the south? And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what I mean is you got to stop the violence and not fight that young man. Like, I probably wouldn't be fearful like that 80-year-old guy like with the cane is telling me like the little quotes and shit like that. Um, so I, I think that like our perception of what like Jay Prince was or, or, or is is like, because we thought like it was like, no, nah, Jay Prince say, man, you stop that and you're going to be dead tomorrow. Or you stop that and something's going to happen to you tomorrow. Like, not saying that that should happen. I'm just saying the perception of everything. And then when WAC 100 got on, and it's just, it, it was just all bad. I think that Drake is really in a bad situation right now because his whole backing, like Drake whole like protection thing, really, I mean, outside of Toronto, because he got a whole country behind. Like, you get caught slipping Toronto if you want to, shit, Toronto and Buffalo. Like, nigga got the whole area. I ain't even gonna hold it. I'm from Buffalo, but do not call me to get your chain back. If OVO niggas get your chain, do not call me to get it back. I ain't gonna hold it. But listen, um, I think that Drake is in a bad situation only because nobody really, like, it's scared of the whole Jay Prince like situation no more. Like rest in peace, homie took from, from the Meagles and all that too. But what what do they what do they really do though? Like but like besides paying, like like when you pay them like for protection, like what what do they really do though? Like besides like tell you that you mob ties, you can throw the M up and all that. Like if you can still get killed, you can still get robbed, um, you can still get demolished on Clubhouse by Whack One Hundred. Like really, what are, what are you paying for? And I'm not saying you shouldn't pay, because if I ever come to L.A., California, or New Jersey, I'm definitely paying. I will cash app in advance. I am definitely checking in. But anyways, uh, y'all hop in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel. I actually feel a little bit better doing this video. Probably going to be mad as hell after I do this video. It's been a long, I can't even say day. It's dinner. It's been a long year. But anyways, DJ Bandit and the Black Mr. Well Connected. You more respect to Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. We out. DJ Bandana Black and Doris Records. Yeah, man, Bandana Black, you know, he always played local music, you know, for Buffalo, man. We That was the only DJ we really had, you know what I'm saying? And um, he always showed love, man. He always been a fan, you know, since day one. I knew him before, I, I knew him before he was even Bandana Black, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like, 
when he when he became you know on the radio uh, a radio dj man he just always showed love man so you know definitely shout out to bandana black yeah what eve will you bandana black dj ban ban bandana